Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to properly check your oil. I know this might sound trivial to some of you, but I've seen so many AP1 motors lost to oil starvation that I felt compelled to make this video. Let's get started. First things first, if you want to get the most accurate oil level measurement, you should check the motor oil when the car is stone cold. Oil expands as temperature rises, so you could get an inflated reading if you measured the oil when the oil was hot. However, Checking the oil when the car is warm is a perfectly acceptable way to get a general idea of your oil level. Remove the dipstick from the car and wipe it off so that you can get a clean reading. If you look carefully at the dipstick, you will see that at the lower side there is an L for low, then there are five diamonds, and at the top there is an H for high. The difference between low and high is one quart, so every single diamond represents one-fifth of a quart. Insert the dipstick and remove it again. What is really tricky about the S2000 is that one side of the dipstick will often take a layer of oil off the windage tray, leading to false positive readings. As you can see here, this side of the dipstick reads over the H mark, but if I flip it over, you can now see that the dipstick is at the third diamond. Repeat this process at least once more to ensure that you get a consistent reading. Hopefully this helps some of you out. If you don't check your oil regularly already, you should, especially if you have an AP1. If you read the owner's manual, Honda even recommends checking the oil level every time you fill up the gas tank. It might sound tedious to do this, but the truth is that AP1s can often burn a quart of oil every thousand miles. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment for any DIY you'd like to see in the future.